Yep, in real. Don't slow down a little bit. Yep, I'm slowing down, Ryan. All right, guys. Good morning, everybody. Our sizzle and pudding coming at you from the clicker. ocean. We're going to turn that clicker off over here. We are trolling today. We got our buddy Justin with us. We're out deep, and it's right after Hurricane Nicole basically hit the east coast of Florida. And this is the first calm day to be out here. Good speed, good okay. speed. Where's the gas? Right there. All right, guys. Fish coming on board. Yup. All right, it's a team effort. I'm driving the boat. It's actually pretty calm out here. Still a little on the windy side. Give me a little banana to the right. Banana to the right. You're good, that's good. He's deep. He's staying deep like a tuna. Oh my Jesus. God. Brian, I'm going fast as I can. All right, all right, all right, all right. That's a nice Whoa! one. That's Beauty. a nice fish on planer, baby. Oh yeah. That is a fish. 20 pounder in the boat. Nice work. <laughs> Woo! Nice fish. Woo. So awesome. Way to go, Justin. Nice work. <laughs> That's the way to break off the skunk in the morning. I guess the fishing epic after a hurricane. Look at that fish. Nice. Yeah. Dude, that fish dug. Yeah. I knew he was bigger. It wasn't coming up on the surface. Right. Oh, oh, my God. A huge one just aired out. Nice fish. You ate the blue and white sea witch. Can't get it out. On the planer. Nice. Thank you very much. Nice fish. Check it out, guys. Look at that awesome fish Justin just reeled in on the planer. That's a nice upper team fish for sure. Nice football. Look at the shoulders on him. Nice fish. I'll get it. You guys get him. Make sure that drag is not too tight. All right. Not too tight. All right, another fish on. Put gonna get it. All right, yes. We literally just said, like, let's pick it up because we give it 15 minutes after every bite. What is that? To move on, and we just got a bite. Yeah, I was gonna swing it. Maybe I'll just bring it through the door in the back here. We'll see. Oh, no. Dakota. Is it? Uh huh. Great, you're going too slow. I'll take it. <laughs> you're going too slow, Come on, man. Gugan. Come on, Google. I, I would be having him in the boat if you're going too slow. Your fault. All right, it's Cuda. All right, little crab bait. I'll take it any day. Another species. It's the blue and white boat. islander. Don't oh. forget, you gotta. There's regulations on these darn things now. You gotta be 18 to 36 and one over 36. So. Man, <laughs> I'm so glad we don't have smell o vision because you guys can't smell this cuda, but he stinks. Like I can smell him. The second he comes on board. Oh, someone's hooked up. Justin, are you hooked up? Justin's hooked up. He's very quiet. Nice. He's not as quiet as Silent Frank, but he's still quiet. Nice. Those tuners, a lot of time, are you know, more of a morning bite, low light conditions, and then so we switch it up. Now we're dragging some runners that Darcy caught earlier over on the, uh, I guess we're on Push Button Hill. Oh, that's a fish, man. Get that fish up, Justin. No, that's a real fish he's got. Sizzle, you know, so, so far Sizzle's caught nothing. I caught a barracuda and Justin's caught a monstrous tuna. <laughs> and he's about, he probably has a big AJ on right now. Just want to tell you guys real quick, the holidays are approaching super fast. Don't forget about my website, darcizzleoffshore.com. I have all kinds of great merchandise for anyone in your family who enjoys fishing in the outdoors. Sterling silver, fish hook bracelets, eight by 10 calendars, you name it, I got it. Yeah, that's right, Darcizzle. And very importantly, the calendars are on for pre-sale right now. So we're gonna have a limited number. So if you want calendars, order those right away. Yes. And we got some new apparel. So uh, we really appreciate your support for the holidays. Now, Justin, no, woo, no stalemates, Justin. Fish is going up, going down, or you're going to bring them up. I should have sure taught you that in bluefin school, right? No stalemates. Stalemates mean the fish is resting. So if, if you just get stuck, do some short pumps. But if the fish is not taking line, and you're not, or you're not taking line, that means your fish. I think he knows that. I know, I'm just teasing. I'm just busting balls. But uh, just sharing some knowledge with these guys. Easier said than done, of course, too. <laughs> when you're 15 minutes into a- You getting close? I'm just saying he's under the boat. Maybe you should turn to the no, south. No, less is more, I think. Justin wanted to come out and go fishing. I, I told him, this kid is caught. Justin, I know you're fishing right now, but how many over 40 pound striped bass have you caught? Oh. Can't even tell you. 50. 50. And that's, a, that's like a, a 40 pound bass. Deep color, deep color. 40 pound bass, you guys know, is like a lifetime achievement award. How many over 50 pounds? Uh, not many, two. Two over 50, which some, most people never do in their lifetime. Deep color. One was, One was over 60 and none of you did that. So this kid loves fishing, whether it's four pound weight from trout. Here it comes, leader. Oh, so get the Whoa, thing. Whoa, dude. It's a freaking monster, Whoa, man. Whoa, dude. Got it, Brian. Whoa, dude. Go back, walk back, Whoa, Justin, dude. Whoa. Big fish, right, big right, fish. Relax. He's going back down again. No, he's not. You got him. 
Get him off the boat. Get him off the boat. There you go. You're good, Brian. Take your time. Okay. Take your time. Fish is still real active. Oh my God, this thing is a monster. Oh my Lord, have mercy. Good job. Good job. Oh, Jesus. Get that lunker up. <laughs> Get that lunker oh, up. Oh, if I can. That's Back a 50 up. pounder. Hold is. on, let's switch, let's switch. <laughs> Woo! Justin crushing it, dude. Big fish. Woo! Woo! Lord have mercy. <laughs> that is a monster. That Lord is a lunker. Mercy. That's a monster. That is a lunker. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> nice work by Justin. Look at that circle, that hook right in the corner. Oh my Sick. lord. Alright, pick him up, Justin. If you can. <laughs> pick up your fish. We'll like just get the hook out. Oh yeah, get the hook out first. Or cut it, whatever you want to do. Yeah. Woo! Nice fish. Woo, man. Stunfish. Jeez, I can't believe how live this fish is right now. Epic. Sick, man. Epic. All of, Way to go, buddy. All of 30, 40 pounds all day. 40? Oh, I don't know. He's big. Woo! So that's, that's probably like in the upper class of a big AJ for Justin. So it might not be his personal best, but it's one of the top ones. All right. Nice job, Justin. Awesome gaff shot by me and also, of course, my fishing spots. I gotta take some credit. Gotta take some credit. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Sizzle might be hooked up. I am hooked up. Now it knows he's awake. Get All him. Right. Get off the bottom. Woo. I'm hooked up, but the fish is nowhere near close. So we'll see if I actually catch up to everyone today. Woo. Nice job. So get him. Cranking, cranking, cranking. Now, Sizzle's using, I think she's using our advanced bottom rod. I always mention to you guys, basically a Carolina rig. That's a Torium reel. And uh, she's been liking the Miami Mutton Man custom rod. I do like it. She does like it. You can check that out on his website. Woo! Definitely don't think it's as big as the last fish Justin caught. <laughs> How much longer? Yeah, that thing's coming up pretty good. Good huh? distance. Oh. Oh my god. What? Sharks. Sharks. Uh oh, Shit. sharks. I better get that fish up. He's huge. Brian, get ready. I'm gonna grab the leader. Get him, get him, get him. Nice, nice. It's okay, check it out. I got it, I got it, I got it. This is an ammo. Woo! I did it! Woo! Did it. Got it past those sharks. <laughs> Woo! Beautiful Amoco Jack. I said there was no sharks out here and there's a massive bull shark hanging out right here. <laughs> Whooped. A lot of people consider them better tasting than amberjacks. Still part of the same family. Delicious. And if we don't have any I'm I'll use crab chat bait. All right, it's really hard actually to tell the difference between an almaco and a greater amberjack when they're especially on the smaller size. But really the main thing to look at is this dorsal fin. It's very pointy and long on an, amber, on an almaco. Amberjack, it's much shorter. And also the body shape. The body shape is way different. An Almaco is broader, like just bigger right here in the front area. Yeah. It's but like, fatter, like here. Yeah, he's just fatter. But seeing the two fish together, it's very, you can tell the difference. But anyhow, we've caught a lot of these over the years now, and I know this is an Almaco, and they're delicious. Talk? No, I'm not talking, just really. Brian makes me do all the talking. Woo, look at that flag, mother. Flag! Flag! Uh, flag in the house! Nice job! Nice job! <laughs> nice job! <laughs> on a barracuda chunk. On a barracuda This is a, like That's a record. Awesome. We found him. Dude, look at the size of this flag. Look at that. Show me. Show me. Woo! Barracuda chunk. How big? 16. No, that's 19. Is look it? Back. It's tail to the 19. No, 16. Right? Yeah, he's 19. Oh, 19, yeah. 16 to the fork. 16 to the fork. He's bigger than a legal mutton snapper. Woo! Nice work. Then he puked all over Justin's leg. All right, go catch another, Brian. Do it right, because you can't do it wrong. That's why the whole world is. Singing a song. There we go! <laughs> you be catching all those shit and fish. I just caught some delicious dinner. Good job by me. I can't believe a flag ate that. Like Dude, those things eat those big, they're those smart. big yellowtails. I mean, just like any other snapper. Usually, you just catch them when they're small. But if you get, you know, like my mutton man catches 
Lunkers. Yes. He gaffs them. Yes. <laughs> he gaffs them. Literally gaffs them. I caught that. I caught that yelltail on a. Uh, I caught the yelltail on a chicken rig. So you know, different people using different rigs and different baits. You know, and you're gonna figure something out. and You're gonna put some fish in a boat. And you know what I always say is, when in doubt, chicken rig it out because we will catch fish. And that's the most delicious fish on the boat to right now. So. We're back at the house, guys. We got the two most delicious fish, in my opinion, right here on the table. And I'm gonna end up showing you two different ways of filleting fish, my go-to method, and then a method that you guys recommend to me all the time. So let's dive right into this. Once again, we're using our sizzle knives today. This is a great gift for the holidays approaching really fast. We'll link that information down below. But let's just dive right into this. We're gonna be using my smaller flex fillet knife. You can see right here, custom designed by me. And we're just gonna cut like I like to do most of my fish, I feel like I get a lot more meat this way. And I'm just gonna go right down his back. These fish are very easy to fillet actually, even though they have scales, they're just an easy fish. So you'll see here, right here in just a second, making my cuts as close as possible to those bones. There we go. Beauty. And I'm so excited to have Yellowtail. It has been a minute since we have. And there we go. Very easy, very simple. Just slab that right off, no problem. Gonna use the same knife to take the skin off. And that side is done. Now let me show you the other side. Here we go with the smaller yellow tail. I'm just gonna do a really quick, simple fillet method that you guys recommend to me all the time and let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So we're just gonna make a cut right behind those fins and then we're literally gonna turn our knife and you're just gonna slab it off like you would 50 crappie, which totally works. Oh, there goes my beer, fat beer foul. That sucks, <laughs> oh, geez, I suck. All right, then we go right to the tail, you stop. You flip it over just like so, but you see how we opened up the cavity here, which I just don't prefer, and we don't catch a lot of fish like this size. We catch bigger fish, and I believe the way I just showed you previously is a better way to get more meat. But obviously, this worked no problem. It's just not my preferred method. So tail's flipped over, and then we're just gonna slab it off. All right, so that's what you would do when you have 50 crappie. That was really quick, really easy. But you can see now I've got more work on my filet here. I've got more of the bones, more of the rib cage, which is not a problem. But in my opinion, I feel like I get more meat with the first method I showed you. So that's about it, guys. Gonna finish up this fish and meet you in the house for the cooking with pudding portion of this video. <laughs> Thanks so much for playing those yellow tail star sizzle. And welcome, guys, to another edition of Cooking with pudding. We haven't had yellowtail snapper in like forever. Edition. Yeah. Frank I, I, is mad. <laughs> don't say anything about Frank. He's gonna be mad. We caught the yellowtail. That's all he talks about. Yes. But I know I got very excited on the boat about the yellowtails. But again, we never catch them, and we catch tuna all the time. So I don't want to sound like a spoiled brat, but I was very happy to get the yellowtails. Yeah. This and has been like the year of blackfin tuna. Like <laughs> incredible. Like every time we go out, we catch like a stud, and we are just like overfed on tuna. Justin took that whole fish home. Yeah, we just gave it right to him. Yeah. <laughs> so, but I did a very excellent recipe. This recipe is great for all kinds of snapper, and yellowtail snapper is a little bit. Uh, a, it's a delicious white fish, white meat, and I think it's a little bit softer than some Very other soft. snapper. Yes. Okay, so um, you might not put it on the grill or something like that, but this sauce is perfect. So let me go through it real quick. I got some beautiful B-roll for you. So first off, I, I heated up my nice beautiful pan you guys got me, cast iron pan. I, I used olive oil. I didn't use butter because it's a butter-based sauce and I wanted to use a higher heat and make some edges a little crispy on the fish, okay? Put all the fish in. I cooked it all in the same pan at once. I know you're not supposed to do that, but I, you know, I wanted to get it all done. And again, when the edges start to get a little white, like you can see in this B-roll, it's time to flip. Flip it over, and some of the little pieces were almost immediately ready to take off the heat, okay? Key to fish, as always, guys, do not overcook. Uh, it's very hard to even undercook, to cook so fast. So I started taking pieces off immediately. One of my favorite parts of this recipe once the fish is all done, is you're gonna use the same pan, all right? So I, I even left a little extra fish in the bottom of the pan, broke it up into little chunks, so our sauce is gonna have a million pieces of little fish in it, okay? It's gonna be, it's insane, okay? So it's a butter 
and, and cream-based uh, sauce. We're gonna have the recipe down at the bottom, but basically I put in some butter, mixed in some half and half. You're supposed to use heavy whipping cream, but you can substitute uh, half and half with extra butter in there, okay? So that makes up more creamy. Whisk that all together. Then we're gonna add some lemon, mix it in there nice, and then you can throw in the rest of your stuff, uh, your bouillon cube, uh, your garlic, uh, I, and yeah, then at the end, I like to put the basil in, and you can do this to taste. This isn't baking a cake, so you can really do what you want. More salt and pepper. Secret ingredient for pudding is always a pinch of sugar. I didn't do that this time. And you can just measure the sweetness and the tartness with how much lemon you put in here when you make this delicious lemon butter sauce, okay? We got some broccoli on this nice plate here. Put the beautiful uh, fillets on the plate. Plate it up nice with the sauce. Beautiful garnish from Darcy's Garden. And here we go, we're ready to taste test. So go ahead. All right, here we go. Literally, as he was talking, my stomach is growling. Yes, this is our lunch. I am so hungry. It's the next day. We got baby forks for babies. Come a baby. Slightly on the salty side, but that's okay. That's I, my fault. And it's really good. It's really good. This is like my, one of my favorite combos, the basil, the lemon, the heavy cream is just like amazing together, especially on fish. All right, another success story. The fishing, the cleaning, the cooking. All Great right. job, Puddin. Until our next adventure. <laughs> Follow your dreams, your dreams and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. And take a look at this next video if you got a minute. And check out Darcy's website. We'd love it.